What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad to see you. So today's review that I'm bringing to you is a newish, newish film. Um, it is PG-13, however, and that's always a <clears throat> stake in my heart because they tend to water down the horror movie. And there's so much opportunity when you don't do that. I'm talking about the 2018 PG-13 release of Truth or Dare. Now, if you've seen this, um, you can see they'd really try to blow it up and from the producer of Happy Death Day and Get Out. Because it's a Bloomhouse release. If you haven't heard of this, let's tell you a little bit about it, okay? Because it's exactly what you'd think it's about, alright? Lucy Hale who is in Pretty Little Liars, and Tyler Posey from Teen Wolf, lead the cast of Bloomhouse Truth or Dare, a supernatural thr thriller from Bloomhouse Productions, who had, did Happy Death Day and Get Out. A harmless game of Truth or Dare among friends turns deadly when somebody or something begins to punish those who tell a lie or refuse the dare. So yes, the it's the kid's game of Truth or Dare. However, if you choose truth and... The demon spirit tells you to tell this truth, and if you don't do it, then guess what? You die. Or if there's a dare, typically the dare is hurting somebody or you're, you know, something like that. Or And if you don't do it, you die. So it's kind of a goofy concept. I think that's why I did 5 out of 10, because would I watch it again? Probably not, but it was really well shot. Um, it was directed by Jeff, I think, Wadlin who did Kick-Ass 2, and he also produced the Bates Motel TV series. And it did feature Lucy Hale, of course, Scream 4, and Tyler Posey, who was Teen Wolf TV series as well as Scary Movie 5. Um, it did, um, just to tell you <laughs> how drama these kids are, like literally it was nominated for a Teen Choice Awards for drama. There's your PG-13. There's your PG That's why they released these PG-13 movies, because... They make money. They get younger people into the theaters. My only hope as a old grumpy horror fan is that it turns these people on to better and more cooler horror movies, you know. Because, of course, you know, Bloomhouse is usually solid. Like, I love Happy Death Day. I love Get Out, you know, and other movies that they release. Um, it's definitely not a waste to watch. Like, it's worth watching. Um, it's just nothing new. It's just, you know... It's just a typical story, like it felt like a tax write-off, kind of. But what do I know? Because they budgeted $3.5 but they grossed like $95 million worldwide. So don't take my advice, apparently, on making movies, especially PG-13 ones. Here we are. It was all right, though. Truth or dare, 5 out of 10. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. i got more reviews coming to you. Stick around.